Saturday the 23rd of October and we're going to Comic Con! We've never been to one before and we are very excited. I am in my Black Widow outfit again and Matthew is... got a busy schedule it is currently 7 35 and we are just going to get the train and we can't wait I mean, I, I've always, I always have enjoyed playing Loki. He's such a complex character with so many um, complexities and contradictions. And the longer I've played him, I feel a, um, an increasing responsibility to, um, to deliver the character that everybody loves, but also a, a, a curiosity about finding new facets every time and the most thrilling aspect uh, was was actually taking Loki away from everything that was familiar to him um, taking him away from Asgard taking him away from his family and his brother and his father and his mother and and seeing challenging him profoundly with the TVA and with his own story um, and with many different aspects of himself. And I found that um, a really uh, terrific um, starting point. Um, and as you now know, and what a relief it is to be able to share it with you, um, I was joined on this Loki journey by many other Lokis um, who could share in the delights of wearing horns and, uh, and leather leather and <laughs> everything else, um, even the alligator. Um, <laughs> I think once he locked into who Mobius was, um, I think he had a really good time, you know? And, and, and we loved sitting across from each other and playing these long scenes and, um, the, you know, kind of like a, a tennis match. And, um, he, yeah, it was just a pleasure from start to finish. Like, every day it just kept getting richer and richer and better and better. And he's so inventive in the moment and so responsive and so imaginative. Um, yeah, and it was, a, it was a long, it ended up being a long process because the filming was interrupted by the pandemic. So it was, a, it was you know, he was very much a, a, a fellow. Be on time, be prepared, and, and be true to you. Um, there is no one on this earth who is like you. You are the only person who can do what you do, who has lived your life, has internalized your experience, and uh, that song in your heart belongs to you and you alone. Um, and, and hold that very dear, because it's precious, and every voice is worth hearing. So whatever story you have, whatever you want to say, keep it close and, and hold it dear, and stay true, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, yeah, I'd say it's our first time at Comic Con. 
meet you. I'm good. I'm right. How are you? Awesome. Thank you. Oh, that that means a lot. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Bye now. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Freddie Carter and Ben. Yeah, there's just, there's a kind of, there's something you can't fake in person, you know, you no. can't fake enthusiasm and joy and passion and yeah. that sort of, that thing that you get that we've had today for the first time properly is, you know, you can't, you can't fake that online, you know, you could write whatever you want and not really feel it, but actually, I don't know if you found that, but really, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was just, I, I just, out. as soon as I started I didn't speaking, zone out. I didn't want to zone out, I just want to like see everyone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I want to see each individual person, and so I'm sca I was scanning. Right. <laughs> or whatever it might be that you do that you love that's creative, making it your own is, is sort of the whole point, and, and, and investing a piece of yourself in it. So, you know, when I look at characters that I've played, I read what's on the page, and then I sort of figure out how I can syringe a little piece of myself into it, whether that's just a little moment that you want to add something warm or something that doesn't feel like it, something human. Because mm. uh, all of us respond to the same, no matter what fandom you're a part of, you, like, the probability is that what you love about that fandom is, is or what you love about those characters is their humanity, usually. Because we're very fortunate, and this fandom is one that's made up of incredibly kind people, I would say, as a general rule. Um, so we don't, I personally haven't come up against anything it's too hard, or at least I haven't looked at it. Um, I tend to post something and then run away for a little <laughs> while, to let, let whatever is coming my way die down. Um, <laughs> that's one way. But yeah, I think yeah, we've just been very, very lucky. My, per speaking personally, I haven't come up against anything. And, and anything you do read, obviously for every, for every hundred lovely comments, there's one which may not even be that nasty, but just isn't sort of as lovely as the other hundred. And that's the one that sticks with you. Um, and you just have to sort of take it with a pinch of salt. And like Ben said, there's an anam anamin anonymity. Anonymity? Yeah. <laughs> there's that with social media, which once you realize that, you know, you then take everything with more than a pinch of salt. So. Yeah, healthy. What about you, Ben, like in terms of social media? Because it's so intrinsically tied up with what we do. It, it, it is, but I think, I think there's also like, noting the community like look at like this community like I was just signing and people saying that I made three new friends in the line for the you know which is that that kind of community building is possible online as well and I think um, you know we all need we all of us not just the people in shows but all fans need to reward the behavior that you want to see and ignore the behavior that you don't and so you know if people are kind of trolling or criticizing or, or whatever it might be some you know kind of ruining the experience for people then ignore them yeah. they have to be ignored and then and then you know maybe you respond to someone who's saying something nice or, or like a comment or whatever it is and, and you realize that then slowly people start supporting each other in that and building little groups and then and then they become powerless against the, the group you know and um, so I've, I've noticed a lot more of that like the more I've kind of kind of looked into it but but as Freddie said like we're so lucky like with 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 the people who love these particular stories in particular they just they're, they're, they're obviously like just so drawn to this to the storytelling that that they want to support it and they want to see it flourish and they want to see another season and, you know so so uh, the way to get that is to support it and, and thinking spent a lot of time thinking about well when this is all opens up what do I want to do what do I want to be and this is probably a lot of you guys probably your answer is I want to be at a con I want to dress up as this and I want to do this and be this and 
that's that's kind of what gets you up and going. And for and for me, that is that is music, and has always been music. I've, you know, I, I if I'm in a room without music on, I I, I miss it. And um, and so so for me, I, I I sort of thought forward to my 80 year old me thinking. Uh, what, what, I'm going to regret not doing this if I don't do it now. What are the things that when I, you know, when I look at my life, what am I not prioritizing that I want to be? And I can't bear the thought that I, that I didn't do this only out of fear of judgment of how it would be received. Because like we were saying earlier about the trolling, it's, for the pe- it's, it's, it's not going to be for everyone, but, it, but the people that it is for might put a smile on their face. And, you know, the day after I released my first song, there was a... A little, just a little video on Instagram or TikTok or somewhere that was just a girl. Still nervous? Were you like, oh, is it? No, it was just, it was just, it was just this young woman dancing in her kitchen with a big smile on her face to my song, and I was instantly the whole thing was worth it. It was just, it was, it made me so happy, Uh, and that was all that. And and so now, yeah, I, I can, no one can ever take it away from me that I wrote songs and put them into the world. And that's all I ever wanted to do about with it anyway. So uh, good on you. Yeah, it was good. Thank you. Good. Hello. How are you going? Good. Thank you. How are you? It's um, a Falcon and the Winter Soldier jacket. Oh yeah, cool. I paint them for my job. I sell custom painted jackets. So. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, my fr- I've got a friend who's an artist who does um, jackets, and he did me uh, a black leather jacket with Freddie Mercury on the back. Oh, that's like cool. It. Yeah, I, I try and stay away from like things that might be copyrighted. Because I don't want to get sued. Yeah, very but <laughs> this is for myself. No, no but this is just for myself, so it's fine. That is, that's very, very good. <laughs> you're, you're welcome to keep that business card if you like. <laughs> well, I did ask you if you wanted it in what colour, but I just went for it. That is absolutely fine. <laughs> Do you want that quote on there or anything? Yeah, sure. Any quote, any of your favourite quotes? Favorite quotes? <laughs> Writing. Okay, I'm going to try. Fine, make me a villain or light calls for life. Ooh. Light calls for life, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Directing anything, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we met Freddie <laughs> earlier, but we didn't realize he was so into like, the directing side of things, oh, yeah, yeah. so he didn't give Freddie a business card. Shouldn't have. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him this one. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be laughs> <great. laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course, I forgot to finish the vlog yesterday. Obviously, it's the next day now. Um, I think the last thing I filmed was meeting Ben. After that, we. We were a bit cheeky and we went back to see Freddie again um, because in the panel they talked about how he is really into directing and has directed short films and wants to do more directing and stuff and my brother is an actor so we wanted to <laughs> give him my brother's business card so um, 
he didn't have a cue or anything he was just sitting there so we just sort of like <laughs> just went back to see him again and as soon as he saw us he stood up his face lit up with a massive grin and he was like oh so nice to see you guys again um and so yeah we just gave him matthew's business card and i was wearing my jacket at that point so then I showed him the jacket and also gave him one of my business cards. You never know. Then we wandered around a bit more and went to a indie filmmakers panel um, and then came home again. So it was an absolutely incredible day. Honestly, I can't even, I can't even explain it. It was just so nice and Ben and Freddie are honestly like some of the two of the loveliest people I've ever met. <sighs> Freddie and Ben, so lovely and I hope I get to see them again at some point. Here's my autograph from Ben and here's my autograph from Freddie. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I honestly think I'll be re-watching it forever because it was just the best day and I can't wait for next year. I'm definitely going to go next year. Don't forget to check out my socials and my Etsy and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!